breakfast time, that is. That's Jardines. <laughs> Jardines. Welcome to another Vegas vloggity vlog. Today is a little bit emotional. It's the 24th of May and we've been here for eight nights and it's time for this one to fly back home. Yeah. Hence why he's having a beer. At having an emotional support beer. Emotional support beer yeah. at 20 past 11. We are at the Uncle Tower Suites and we're going to check out, but Johnny's going home today. So we were very fortunate that he was able to come because originally he wasn't going to come. And uh, he was able to come out for eight nights and now he's leaving. Leaving on a jet plane. <laughs> leaving on a jet plane. Johnny, what was your rose and what was your thorn of oh, the trip? you're my rose of my trip. Oh, John. Don't Especially in our wedding vows, that was a lovely day. Oh my god, you're going to get me going, I can't cry Matthew's yet. Matthew's my rose petal. <laughs> a leaf off the old rose block. No, it was great. All of it was good. The thorn was being a bit ill for about two or three days. Yes. At the blooming MGM Grand Banner Day. Yes. Wasn't very well there. That was rubbish. That was definitely But the rest thorn. of it, the rest of it was absolutely fantastic holiday. I really enjoyed it. And I go back and I've got four days less work to do than I would have had I stayed at home, so that's good. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I had a great time. I had a great time. We, and, had, yeah. we had some fantastic food this we, trip. We've, we have eaten and drank more expensive stuff than I think we would have done normally on a trip, which has been really nice, hasn't it? Yeah. We've had, seem to have had endless celebratory meals. 
I, I've had about four birthdays. So it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's been really worth. You've it. had Bavets and yeah. you had Sinatra yeah. and we had Casa Playa last night. Yeah. Even breakfast this morning was a was classed as a birthday breakfast. Apparently, according to the waiter who brought me a well, I did cake put it in the, the notes. So, <laughs> <laughs> but yes, we had um, breakfast at Jardin. How would Matthew say it? Jardin. 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 The French pronunciation this morning. Oh, breakfast. It was wonderful. It was a really nice way to have a last breakfast it was, with John. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. <clears throat> so now Johnny's flying home, and Matthew and I are driving. Driving the car, the high car, to Vidara to check in for seven nights at Vidara, Matthew and I. Fantastic. Really fantastic. That he doesn't have to go back. Yeah. Yeah. And it's raining at home every single day. So that was the original plan. That was why we had an extended trip because Matthew was off school. And so we thought, well, we might as well just stay in the sun, you know. Um, the next couple of days are going to be pretty chill days. It's going to be admin, YouTube admin, and just general, like getting a reset laundry and all of that stuff together. So the vlogs might be a bit light for the next couple of days, but then we're full on again because we've got quite a few plans. I think I've got... Yeah. Yeah, you've really got some good really plans. interesting stuff to do. Yeah. yeah, we've got some great things booked, yeah. so looking forward to that. But um, Johnny got a nice surprise last night when he went to do online check-in. Mm. So he's flying British Airways back home, and tell them what happened, John, because you were originally flying Premium Economy. Yeah, I was, and and um, yeah, just checked in and checked saw in they and changed my seat. And I thought, what well, they changed my seat for? <laughs> and they'd upgraded me to business class for the way back. Which so is so happy about yeah that just that just smooths over the fact that I'm leaving, yes. knowing that I can get my get my head down. It makes such a in difference. My business class seat all the way. Yeah, back. so Johnny's traveling in the new yeah. club suite back yeah. home, so yeah. that's yeah. nice. So it makes us feel a bit better, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. The guilt it lessens the guilt that we have. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I'll stay here. Uncle Tower yeah. Suites was oh fantastic. I love it in this hotel. It's just such a nice hotel in such a nice place, nice and quiet downstairs. And the fact that we, you can just stumble from the bottom of the lift to two or three really nice restaurants yes. and then stumble back in the lift at the end. You don't yeah. have to walk anywhere. It was and, the, good. and the casino is quiet yes. but busy enough yes. to be fun. Yeah. Everything's within reach. It's just such a super location. Yeah, we, we love it. It yeah. feels like home yeah. for us here. Um, but yeah, so we need to finish up packing now, you guys. Yeah. And then um, we're going to take our luggage to the car. And then we're going to say goodbye to John yeah, as he gets to Uber. Uber. Oh. Yeah. Do you want to say any last words to the vlog, Jonathan? Do I want to say any last words? Yes, thank you for following. Hit the like and share. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> no, it's super. And see all the comments, the lovely comments on Instagram, and it's just so heartwarming. Overwhelming, really. And I, I really appreciate them, and they're really nice. Yes. And it makes me feel so good that there's so many good people out there. Yeah, I know. Kind people. We love you guys, yeah. really. Yeah. We really do. Yeah. Thank you so much for the support so far. So while we finish, um, well, while John finishes packing, I just thought I would show you the two pairs of shoes that I bought at the North Outlets when we went shopping the other day because I don't, I can't remember if I showed you. So the first pair I bought were these Steve Madden leather sandals. You know, they're the Oran dupes from Hermes. And I definitely feel like they need breaking in, but once they're broken in, they'll be comfortable. Um, and they were such a good bargain. And then these are the Tory Birch espadrilles, leather espadrilles um, that were on sale too. So yeah, I think I forgot to show you. So there you go. Little mini haul. That's it. That's Matthew and my luggage for the trip. Yeah. Thanks, John. Okay. Back to the room. Back to Make the room. Back to the room. 15 nice. minutes. Good timing. Yeah. Everything has gone really well this morning. Timing Touch wise. wood. No flapping. Tears are fine.
gone astray Had to leave my home at an early age I saw mama praying, I saw daddy grind All my tender problems had to leave me that's it, that's Johnny going now yeah. to the airport. I'm actually filming because I'm hoping it'll stop me from crying. See you later, Matthew. Love you. Take Takes care, Mum. Take yeah. us again. I will do. See you later. Love you, Love you too. Love you. Bye. And we're off. Yeah. Well, not yet. Just the two of us. I haven't driven in Vegas for a year. So I am feeling nervous and I have a passenger princess yeah. <laughs> or a passenger prince. So wish us luck. Hopefully, I mean, it's super busy already in Vegas. So wish us luck and hopefully we get to the Vidara. Okay. I just checked in John's just about at the airport. Um, so yeah, all good so far. <laughs> Come on, Matthew, let's go. <laughs> Little Sherpa, we made it. We're back. We're back, guys. Oh my goodness! A different floor, but the same last three digits. Yeah. So it feels like we've never left. No. Well done, Matthew. It feels like we've never left. Yeah. But we're here without Johnny. It feels like we live here and we just went on a little weekend getaway to the Encore. Yeah. Right? Yeah. All right, let's get these lines up. Same view as well that we had before. Stadium view and uh, Mandalay Bay on the left side. But we're a bit higher up this time. Nice. Right, Matthew, I need to get these shades up. I need to get all the shades up, actually. Let's get some light up in here. Yeah. Wow, good to be back. I'm not gonna keep saying it because I just feel like I wanna say it all the time, but it would be better if John was here, but he couldn't be here and he wanted us to have a good time. He had no choice but to go back. And, you know, he just would have preferred it if we are here enjoying ourselves rather than being at home in the rain for a week doing nothing. So this is better. You happy to be here, my love? Yeah. Um, it literally does feel like it's our apartment now. Yeah. Because in total, in this room type, it will have been, what, 12 nights, right? Yeah. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna, in this clip here, we're gonna get ourselves sorted. We're gonna do a tiny bit of unpacking. We're gonna empty the hand luggage case. That's got our drinks and cold stuff from Encore. And then we're gonna go back out in the car, we're gonna go to Whole Foods, pick up some water and some supplies, breakfast and snacks and fruit, and lots of water. And we might even see Johnny's plane taking off from there. <laughs> wow, wow. Wow, wow. Sucks to suck. Hey? Sucks to suck. But at least that is in business class. Yeah. So at least he gets to lie down. Yeah. Matthew has just stepped up into John's role automatically. He's become the man of the house and doing all the things his dad would have been doing right now. And he's packing our fridge for us. 
with our cool bag that we bought from Encore. But funny story, these dips. <laughs> I didn't buy them, you bought them. <laughs> they have traveled from Vidara to the Encore and back to Vidara. The buffalo chicken dip and the pico de gallo. I mean, who's gonna eat this? <laughs> I'll have a little bit. Oh, and this traveled back to Vidara to Encore, back to Vidara. This yeah. jalapeno lime aid, I've always wanted to try it. I think it'll be nice with vodka. Yeah, we don't have vodka, do we? <laughs> we'll get some. We'll get some. So yeah, we're just stocking our fridge with all our supplies that we brought back that we didn't use at Encore. Matthew, what were you saying about Dad's beer? Why did we bring it? Yeah, who's just gonna drink it? Hey. I might. Yeah. What are the chances, do you think? I mean, you've got twisted tea as well. And that thing you meant to have with vodka. So. <laughs> That thin, the limeade. The limeade. The don't you want to try a jalapeno limeade? No, not really. Okay. Look at this. The man and Johnny Jr., yeah. Yeah. Taking care nice. of his mum. So we just got our crockery and cutlery. Oh, crockery and cutlery delivered for the room from housekeeping. So if you've not stayed here before, you can just call to request that. They will send you up cookware if you want it and also laundry detergent, they will give you as well. But we had some that I bought early in the week. So laundry's on, crockery's been delivered, we're unpacking. Are you tired, sweetheart? Yeah, we're just gonna wait for dad's plane, finish unpacking and then we're gonna go back out so we can come back and settle in. It's been, a, it's been an emotional day, so it's been tiring. I We're heading out, we're just here at the ballet at Madara and we just said goodbye to Johnny through the TV, through the window, yeah. through the TV, <laughs> through the window and we're starving. Yeah. Because we haven't eaten since Jardin. How is it Matthew? Jardin. Jardin. Uh, since this morning at 10 o'clock. So we're very hungry. We're going to see what we can find at Whole Foods see if there's anything that takes our fancy before yeah. we do shopping. We definitely need to eat before we do shopping. Yeah. Because otherwise we'll be buying a lot of junk. But yeah, we'll take you with us yep. to Whole Foods. Alright, we've just started our shopping. It's a little bit loud in here, so I hope you can hear me. But we got some, well Matthew got some pomegranate juice with our lunch. Or dinner. We got some bananas. And we got some cherries, because they're in season. And then I would like to try this 
dried mango with 100% Mexican spices. That sounds right up my alley. Let's go. We need to we need to stay focused because we're already like we're in the like first aisle yeah. and we've like stray strayed from our list. In my in my mind. Like breakfast stuff and water and snacks. That's it really. Now for the main thing we came in for, water. But I was gonna get a slab and then I was gonna get a big bottle as well. I know this like um, what's it called? Save it back here. Um, filtered water in the fridge at Vidara, but oh my god, this is from South Africa! I used to drink this as a child. Series guava juice. My that's what I used to drink when I was a child. Look, products of South Africa. Oh, it. should we get it? It's expensive, yeah. Because it's imported. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm going to get it because I haven't had that for absolute decades. Gosh, at least 30 years. I haven't had that. Wow. Wow, oh, memory lane. Didn't expect to see series guava juice in Las Vegas and Whole Foods. Like, at home, it's like, in South Africa, it's like cheap. Yeah. Look at that. Okay, we'll put it in the bottom here. To all the ladies in the place with style and grits, allow me to lace these lyrical dishes in your bushes. Uh. Who rock grooves and make moves with all the mom. Hi guys, I can finally talk to you while I drive. I have a cameraman now, a professional cameraman slash photographer slash baggage handler. <laughs> and he's called Matthew Claire. Nice. By the way, Matthew took 99.999% of the photos on this trip that you saw on Instagram. So I know some of you were saying that the photos you enjoyed seeing the photos and they were, you know, the photographer was good. Well, it was Matthew. Hmm. Matthew has a good eye for photography. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> so yeah, we're just on our way. We're on the trip. We're heading back to Vidara. Good morning, good morning from Las Vegas. It is 9.19 in the morning. Focus camera. It's 9.19 in the morning. I've been out for about three hours. So I didn't end up finishing the vlog last night because we came back from Whole Foods and we were just so tired. And it was quite late by the time we called for a roll away for Matthew. We called for a roll away because the sofa bed is just super uncomfortable. It's like an old spring mattress and it's not the same as the sofa bed we had in the suite last week. So um, yeah, not great. Um, I had an interesting phone call at the front desk about requesting the roll away but anyway got there in the end. Um, and then it was like almost, it was eight o'clock by the time they brought it. So I just went over to Aria for like an hour um, while Matthew was watching TV. I just went to play my free play and it was so busy in Aria. Memorial Day weekend, super busy everywhere. But nothing to report on my free play. It went in like an hour. Um, what is happening with my hair at the back? What is, oh, it's a shadow. <laughs> so I came back to the room probably just after nine and I got ready for bed you know, take my, took my makeup off and did my skincare. That's one thing about me is no matter what time I get back to my room, it could be early, it could be early hours of the morning, I could be intoxicated or not. I never, ever, ever fail to do my skincare. Like, that is non-negotiable for me, no matter how I'm feeling. I've got to take my makeup off and I have to do my moisturizer and my 
night serum without a doubt because otherwise I just look I mean I'm 45 okay I'm 45 I've just gotta do what I can as much as I can so yeah I did that and then Matthew and I just sat in the bed together and we watched um the first what did we watch yeah the first 48 but we didn't even get through one episode we had we had uh, snacks in bed but we didn't get through one episode and I fell asleep so I was asleep by 10 Matthew then went to bed I tossed and turned a little bit in the night just because John wasn't here and um, it felt strange but then I woke up properly at about six and it was very strange to wake up without John here this morning, I must say. So um, I FaceTimed John at about 6.45. He was at home. He was at home. He um, enjoyed his upgrade to business. It made such a difference for him. And he had a little connection at Gatwick and then the hour flight to Glasgow. And he was home and like it's just a very strange feeling talking to him in his at home and we're still here when he was just here yesterday bizarre and now he's on the other side of the world so like i said yesterday these next like two days um 24th and 25th of may and possibly 26 it's just going to be like very light vlogging content just because I'm trying to get myself together trying to get admin I mean this morning I was by the time I finished talking to John it was like half past seven and I've done laundry I'm at the minute I'm responding to Instagram comments and I'm doing um importing uh the clips into my macbook to start editing um, because i've got a new camera this year i'm using i use a sony zv1 i think it's called this is what i'm vlogging on now and then i use the gopro as well i think it's a gopro 12 and then this year i bought the dji pocket the dji osmo pocket 3 which this little guy is probably my favorite um camera to use but okay i'm gonna go you guys because this is a five minute clip um i know some of you always asking me like what skincare when you okay let me show you real quick before i end this clip there we go so you can i remember my pjs <laughs> so when i come in and i take my makeup off i this is a travel size but i have obviously have the full one at home this is the elemis cleansing balm so I use this first and it melts away the makeup but obviously because I've got lash extensions um, I need to be careful about keeping this away from my lashes so it can get tricky and then I use the um, I've got the clean club disposable um, cotton cloths for my face and then I use Estee Lauder cleanser perfectly clean cleanser you can use this as a mask as well but I just use it as a cleanser then I rinse it off and then I use my Estee Lauder advanced night repair serum and I've been using this for years years and then I use my night moisturizer and then in the morning so this morning because I haven't um started getting ready this morning i mean i haven't even washed my face this morning so um i'll start off with um i'll just wash my face with water in the morning and then i do the paula's choice um exfoliant with a cotton a cotton pad and this is my little tricks here <laughs> and then if I'm feeling that I need it, I use the Thomas Roth um, under eye moisturizing eye patches. These are amazing, absolutely amazing. Even John likes to put these on every now and then. And then I use the Essa Lauda Day Wear moisturizer. And now that I'm in Vegas, I use the sunscreen, but actually the sunscreen I've put in a different bag. Um, let me see if I can find it. So the, the, all the toiletry bags, so you know, I have a lot of toiletry bags. So I have a bag for my lashes. So 
so lash maintenance last trip i used the clusters and i really like them but i just for such a long trip i figured i would just get lash extensions so i've got my eye drops for red eyes my little spoolies to brush up my lashes and then i've got my little water bottle to rinse my lashes and then what else have i got in here I've got this um, lash shampoo that I use to wash my lashes and I wash it with this little brush and then I rinse it so this is my lash bag then this is my skincare bag so I have like all my skincare and I have a mask I love this mask called Caudalie um, pore refining mask and I, I really love this I'll use that in like the next day or two then I've got like medical, medical supplies. This is just my bag, my bag of tricks that I keep in my handbag and the Goyard if I'm going to the pool. It's got like um, floss and a mirror and lip gloss. And because of my episode where I got cold sores last year, I travel with them like cold sore patches just in case. Lip gloss, blotting papers. Then this is my hair bag. And I have dry shampoo, all my hair brushes, my scarves, my clips, my combs, my blow dry brush, my little shampoo and hair oil. Then this is the main toiletry bag and this we keep our like shaving stuff and Matthew's deodorant and just bits and bobs that I might need a nail file, hair bands, razor, nail clippers, scissors. Um, plugs in case it's noisy, gauze in case we have an emergency, little, I love these little um, cloths. Let me show you. I think I might have shown you another trip. So these cloths, this is a face cloth, so you just wet it and then it opens up to a face cloth like that. Hand soap, um, chub wrap cream, Matthew's uh, shower gel, floss sticks, tie to go pen, um, for stains, eyelash remover in case too many fall out and I want to take them off, tea tree oil in case we need an antiseptic, <laughs> and then a mini um, lint roller. So that's in there, but I actually need to find the sunscreen, the face sunscreen. I don't know where it is. Well, I'll, I'll need to find that. But I use the, um, the strip I've been using, the Shiseido Roll-On Sunscreen and it's a factor 50 and it's really good because you put it on your face and it's not greasy at all. Love that because I really liked the La Roche Posay spray for your face but when you have lash extensions you can't actually use that because all that stuff just sticks to your lashes. So yeah, that's it. And this sunscreen I bought at the wooden gift shop the other day for 32 bucks and it's like used it for one day and it's almost empty but that's it guys so this clip is like 10 minutes 12 minutes but i did get to show you because you do ask me all the time about my skincare um what this old face is using <laughs> but i'm gonna get myself together for the day um i need to go downstairs i want to film some content for the vlog get a second coffee at Starbucks then I'll probably come back and get ready for the day and then we're going to the outlets and Target and we'll definitely take Target. Yeah. Yes, we're coming back. finally left the room guys finally it is now quarter to two and we were good original plan was to leave the room at 10 a.m yeah <laughs> a lot of youtube admin this morning uploading clips from three different cameras onto my laptop i've got one more to do later today and then i can start editing and for some crazy reason, I decided to do a YouTube live tomorrow. 
I'm very nervous. I've wanted to do one for a while. Just a little chit chat in the suite. I've wanted to do it for quite some time, but I always get really nervous and then I back out. But I'm gonna try tomorrow, I'm gonna be brave. But now we're headed for something to eat first. Hopefully in and out, if we can get to parking. This trip is so busy, isn't it, Matthew? Yeah. It's a Memorial Day weekend. Yeah. People everywhere, cars everywhere. Vidara is very busy. Mm. There's definitely a different crowd yeah. in Vidara compared to last weekend. Compared to EDC. Super, super busy. But it's good to be in the car. It's our last day with a car. We take the car back tomorrow morning. Yeah. It was nice to chill in the room this yeah, morning and do everything we needed to do. Because that was the whole point mm -hmm. of the original holiday, was for Matthew and I just to come out and chill for a couple of weeks. finally getting to eat you guys <laughs> we're so hungry I had a banana and two coffees this morning what did you have this morning Matthew no. cereal cereal banana cookie cookie orange juice, orange juice. Tea. So tea. <laughs> tea. Oh. <laughs> I, d I didn't know you had a cookie yeah. lunch done delicious fresh value for money so good and really close by the strip so this isn't the one on Tropicana this is the one behind the stadium it's fairly newish on Russell Road Russell and Polaris Avenue super close to Mandalay Bay we came here at Christmas the service in here is always good mm. plenty of seats it's outside seating you just walk up to the window or you go in the drive through two double double meals was $21 and then Matthew got a vanilla shake for pudding and it was $3 yeah Cheap. such good value so now that we've been fed and watered we're gonna go to the outlets we had success in Under Armour we got in and out really quickly two packs of socks and then I found a long sleeve um, training top I found a long sleeve training top that John actually wanted at the other outlet and they didn't have it. Um, and it was 50% off. Then there's another 10% off on top of that with the VIP club. It's free to join and you can download the app and then access your coupons in the store. And then I had $15, it okay. was denied, worth of points um, from previous purchases. So two big packs of um, performance socks and a long sleeve workout tea came to 28 bucks which is really good so let's find a wallet Matthew success Matthew yep. have to do a little show and tell in the car so we really did only go to two stores yeah nice. we were there like less than 10 minutes yeah. in the outlets 
back in the car, back in the car. <laughs> it's so hot, you guys. 91 degrees, it says in the car. Meh. Hey? It's all right. It's all right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, Matthew, let's do a show in time. Okay. So Matthew finally got a wallet. We needed a new wallet. A new, the Calvin Klein, I can't really see it. A reflection. I'll try to take that. Yeah. Try. I know, it's quite difficult. It's like, there's no way okay. to like. Okay, let me see. Don't take it out, it's fine. You got it? Yeah. It's stuck as well. Oh jeez, it's like sealed. Yeah. Let's see. Hill mini hall. Yeah. Oh, it's attached, okay. So it's just a um, plain black leather wallet. And full price it was $59.50. Yeah, but we got it for $26. There was 50% off and then there was a further 20% off in the VIP club coupon. So not bad, not bad. Yeah. Okay. Bargain. So less than 10 minutes and it's over $50 in the outlets. I think your dad got off lightly. Yeah. Although, next is Target. Uh oh. <laughs> We're going to Target next. Here she is in her natural habitat. In her happy place. Hey? <laughs> in a happy place and we've come to the target at blue diamond because i know the layout of the store it's not the best it doesn't have everything but i know the layout of the store the most the target we went to the other day was all it was all a bit like back to front and yeah it was a little bit confusing further in. I'm looking for a new day, Matthew. But I don't think it's in the first Actually, it might be, because these are the... Are these the same? I don't think they're the same. Right, you guys, I think I'm just going to switch the camera off, because I'm actually just mumbling to myself. So, so far, we've got some underwear. These bras, I bought one the other day, and I'm so sad because they were buy to get one free, but they aren't today. However, I bought this one and it's such a dupe for skims and it's $14.99. So I got them in three different colors. It's the wireless bra. Let me tell you, this is the most comfortable bra I've ever worn in my whole life. Run to Target. This is the Auden brand. So all they do is like dupes for skims. $14.99 girls, go, go, go. Matthew's the new John. He has to look after me and push the trolley. Hey? Yeah. 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 A lot more that one was on the list, including Matthew buying a broccoli for the dog. I think you're worse than me, Matthew. Uh -huh. You're not worse than me with the shopping? No. Don't go that far. <laughs> Are you hot and bothered? No. You good? Yeah, I'm fine. Not bad. $280? I think it was the dog treats. Yeah, $20. <laughs> I think it was the dog, the dog treats you bought. I will blame it on the dog. It's your stuff. 200 Your fault. My fault. Right, we bought our little case. Shout out to Damien Wilde on Instagram, friend of the channel. You reminded me to pack my hand luggage case for the shopping. So special shout out to you. Thank you very much. I always think to do it, but I forget, but you reminded me. So I'm very, very grateful. Oh, yeah. 
the hay, y'all, if you's a true player. Back in the room. I got you back safe and sound. In one piece. Yeah. Why are you shaking? <laughs> Traumatizing. Mm. Traumatizing? Yeah. You gotta be joking. Hey? Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> I see it. <laughs> <laughs> bang, bang. You're such a liar. Yeah. Oh, right. bang. It's not Matthew. Right, we have brought up our shopping in the bags. We've got small bags here. So we're gonna unload the shopping yeah. and relax before dinner? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. It was quite tiring just going to two little shops. Yeah. Two little shopping well, We went and have lunch as well. We did, we did. And it's quite warm out, so. Yeah. But yeah, we came back via Dean Martin Drive because I'm guessing the strip would have been very busy. The 215 is packed, really packed. And you can see it down there. I don't know if you can see it, I can't zoom in. So we came on Dean Martin Drive, which is just adjacent to the 215. It's so quiet, isn't it, Matthew? Yeah. And we got you in like, what, five minutes? Six, six minutes from Target, I would yeah. say, at Blue Diamond. Nice. Yeah. Very successful. A couple of things they didn't have in Target I was hoping they would have, but it's not a big deal. I got most of and more of what I wanted. So that's good. So now it's time to chill. Oh guys, it's been hours since I last spoke to you. I went to the casino. Womp, womp, womp. Nothing to report. And then Matthew met me outside and yeah. we went to Aria, to the food hall, to get some dinner. But before we show you the dinner, on the way to Aria, we bumped into friends of the channel, didn't we? Yeah. It was so nice. Yeah. Ryan and Adrian, it was lovely to meet you and I can't say this enough. Thank you so much for watching the videos. I really appreciate it and uh, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your trip. So nice to meet you, wasn't it, Matthew? Yeah, yeah, it was. And now it's time to get on down to Chow Town. Yeah. Matthew got ramen from, was it the Laughing Buddha? Yeah. I think so. We've had this before. Got some ramen. Nice. Nice. It looks so good. Yeah. And I wanted to try the new place that just opened. It is... Oh, I thought it was a warm sandwich, but it's not. It's a cold sandwich. Oh. From Palm. I think they're the same owners as Carbone, I think. So this is the new Italian place that's open. And I just got a Italian... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. An Italian sandwich. Five meats, cheese, Italian dressing, 
sweet peppers. That looks amazing. Mm. Yeah. Nice. Okay, we're going to enjoy this, guys. Yeah. And we'll speak to you later. Hi, guys. Future Kim and... Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> we're here and we're in like day 13 of our trip but I just remembered that we didn't do a review no. for Awakening which I feel we definitely need to give you one we did say we would do one and I feel it's only fair that you get a opinion because some people love it some people hate it it's mixed reviews so first of all I'm going to turn you to Matthew and he can tell you what he thought of it I thought it, it was okay. I, I mean, I see better shows like Car and stuff, um, but the the costumes was really good, and the acrobatics were okay. But the plot and like this the sort of speech that the characters yeah the script it it wasn't it wasn't great. I think it was a bit too simple, and it took away from like the whole mysterious sort of like impressive factor. I agree with you. Yeah. Yeah. So that's my opinion as well. The actual set and the production and the special effects and the costumes, that was really spectacular and I can see where they spent the money. I just, it just didn't do it for me. I, like Matthew said, the script was weak. The script and the voices of the characters was yeah. quite jarring yeah. in the middle of being mesmerized by something. Um, obviously, some people love it, and that's fine, you know. Like a lot of people dislike Car. We saw it twice, yeah. so it's just a matter of personal taste. I think it's a show that you should go and see if you've been interested in seeing it um, now. Full disclosure, we had our tickets comped because it came with my casino offer. Would I have wanted to pay for the tickets? Mm -hmm. Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. I would have felt I was robbed. Yeah. <laughs> I can see where the expense has been put into this show and where they've yeah. spent the money, but it just doesn't work for us. Mm -hmm. The main sort of central characters was played by the same guy yeah without giving the, the plot away too yeah. much uh -huh. was it that was weird it yeah. was the same guy playing four different characters i don't know maybe we misinterpreted that <laughs> who knows the theater was not full it was what would you say two-thirds full yeah and the other thing as well the latecomers mm. there were people coming in really late yeah. like 25 minutes after the show started and it's very distracting so i think they really need to clamp down on that they yeah. need to have a limit where they say you know 10 minutes and then that's it because you're taking away the experience from other yeah. people so um yeah i'm sorry when i wanted to love it because yeah. it's the win but we didn't no. we didn't so that was our review yeah. awakening Throw your hands in the air if you's a true player. Throw your hands in the air if you's a true player.